Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Samiksha and welcome to this video. I love the idea of minimalism and talking about minimalistic art. I think these pieces make a great statement as a wall piece and uh, Pinterest is flooded with such kind of ideas. I have been practicing one line art for a while now. I am not always successful in creating those pieces in one line though it always ends up with more than one line. But I think that's allowed right? Or at least I allow myself to do that. For this piece, I am painting two randomly shaped closed surface or blobs with green color. I purposely chose green because I wanted to make leaves on them, but you can pick any color. I don't want to add any shading or details to the blobs because I want all the attention to be on the leaves and thus keep the background simple. Otherwise the piece would become too busy according to me. While making leaves with one hand, I am tracing the same path as I could for a normal drawing. Although I also trace the path where I would lift my hand from one point and go to another point to continue the drawing. I hope I am making sense to you while uh, saying so. This shall cause a lot of overlapping of lines. I try not to overlap on the exact same line but somewhere near to that. I think it gives a dimension to the artwork. There are some curves and lines which I am making apart from overlapping. And uh, there are some curves which aren't supposed to fall where they are but I am allowing myself that freedom. It suggests some shading and details with the darker and lighter substance, I feel. By the way, if you are watching my video for the first time, hi there. Uh, if you like this video so far, do press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and it creates a huge difference to me. So, do subscribe. For the second piece, I am painting similar blobs black in color. Uh, I am using acrylic paint for the blobs because I think watercolor dries dull and I don't like to use them when I have to paint something like uh, this block color. Don't worry about the black pen going over the black paint. Complete the drawing without thinking of the black part. We would go over those lines with the white paint again. Now, while drawing leaves, I can draw them anywhere randomly because that's how they grow. But uh, what I'm drawing right now suggests a human face and uh, the curves suggest eyes, nose and lips. So when I'm drawing it with one line without even lifting my hand, I'm not sure if I'll place them correctly. Uh, it will still turn out... Uh, as an abstract person but it would be different from what image i have in my mind or what look i am going for so i draw a thin line or a cross at the position of the eye nose and lips so while drawing one line i know approximately where i'm supposed to go take your time in painting those lines with white paint I will do a second layer of white paint over it because the black pen lines were showing through the first layer. If you have a white pen or a corrector, use it. It is much easier to create such smooth lines with a pen. I think those black lines are very thin and the white line uh, is comparatively thicker and the line art is not highlighted enough. So I am going over the black lines with a black paint with the same thickness of the white one. You can use a black pen or sketch pen instead. I already used paint for the white one and if I use another medium for the black, I think it will change the texture of the line. The black will look way smoother than the white and I think it might break the continuity of the line. Speaking of continuity, you want to make sure that the transition point of the black and the white is even. There is no black line on the black part and no white line on the white part. 
The end product looks amazing and very professional with just few simple steps to follow. You could easily put it in a photo frame and hang it in your house. If you don't know how to draw or simply don't want to, you can print such line arts and trace them onto your drawing sheets with a marker. Let me know if you will be making it too and in the comments down below and if you happen to make it do share it with me on Instagram I would love to see your creations I will link my Instagram in the description box do visit my page I have posted a lot of my artwork there So here are the final looks like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next Friday